This video is going over Building Java Programs Edition 4, and we're looking at Chapter 7, which is about arrays, and we're looking at this self-check called count strings. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, design a method here. Um, we're going to leave the return type for a second. The method is called count strings, and count strings takes an array of strings. Okay, so normally what we'd if it was just a single string, we would do string s. But in this case, we're going to make it an array of strings. And we'll call it strings. And what we're supposed to do is return the number of occurrences that target. OK, so target is actually a string target parameter. OK, so we've got an array of strings and a target string. So this is going to be a single string target. Okay, so the number of times that it re that target appears. So we're going to return a an int. All right. So we know that in the end we need to return the count of uh, occurrences. And we know that we've got to have a loop in here. And what do we need to do inside the loop? We need to count, uh, we need to increase count if strings are equal, okay? Which also tells me we need to actually have a count, right? We need to initialize. Okay, let's start there, okay? Int count equals zero. And we can now return count, okay? We know that we're going to need that. We know that we got a loop, okay? So we've learned about for loops and while loops. While loops were for indefinite numbers of items. Here we have a definite number of items, so we can use a for loop. So we can do for int index equals zero, and um, while the index is less than um, strings dot length um, it's not a method but it's a, a variable and we're going to increment over that and then increase the count if the strings are equal um, so I'll go ahead and use brackets here just because I want don't want to accidentally need them later so if uh, now, how do we compare? We've got two different thing, strings we're going to compare, right? We've got target is one thing, and we've got the strings index. That's the other thing. So how do we compare these? Can we use equals equals? That would fail because it'll only test whether they are the exact same string. Even if they have the same contents, that's not going to work. But what we can do is we can do that strings dot index dot equals target and if you're watching my videos you remember me we, me talking recently about how if we wanted to compare two arrays we have to use arrays dot equals whereas for strings we can just have the name of the string dot equals and this works okay so if they are equal then we need to increment the count Okay, so uh, let's see if that works. Okay, uh, strings. Okay, so that worked. So um, before I move on, though, I want to say that, you know, there's, again, um, I just talked about uh, the prior problem, which was in 7.10, self-check 10, um, we talked about how you can you can do this. This this will work, but you might try to use the new format, okay? Which is, um, uh, sorry, it's going to be a string actually. Uh, I want at least want at least show you how this works. String s, so the, each for each string in this array of strings, okay? So it's going to um, create a string s for each element in here. So now we can say if s dot equals target count. Let's try that. So you can see that's a lot less typing. Okay, it's maybe 
not quite as clear, but it's a lot less typing. So um, the other thing is that uh, you notice that back here when I was doing this strings index dot equals target, I could have done target dot equals strings of index, but I wanted to show you that you can use this strings index as a as a as a string. Okay. Um, you can use the, the brackets, you can just basically ignore that the brackets even exist because the compiler looks at this and figures out that it's a regular string. So whether you do strings dot, uh, of index or you go back to this, this s dot equals target that I was talking about, either way it'll work. So if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. I have a complete curriculum on building Java programs, teaching you Java through um, all these practice it problems.